We've unraveled some of the most intriguing mysteries of our past, but there's still a lot more for us to discover. However, finding an artifact doesn't always mean finding the answers we need. Sometimes, discovering things leads to more unanswered questions. Let's take a look at some of the most intriguing archaeological finds you might have missed. From creepy mummy portraits to a precious medieval ring, here are the 15 most mysterious recent archaeological finds and artifacts scientists still can't explain. Number 15. Mummy Portraits In the past decades, we've continuously unearthed countless mummies from archaeological sites in Egypt. But have you ever wondered what exactly the people of ancient Egypt looked like? In 2022, archaeologists made an astounding discovery while excavating a site 75 miles southwest of modern-day Cairo, Egypt. For the first time ever, we discovered full-colored portraits that date back to the Ptolemaic period from 305 to 30 BCE. Similar to how most of us practice today, those who lived during the Greco-Roman period in ancient Egypt paid their respects to the dead and commemorated them by hanging up detailed paintings of them that were made when they were still alive. Unfortunately, not all of the coffins discovered across Egypt had portraits on them. Only several coffins were found decorated with detailed images of their owners. One of the most popular paintings discovered belonged to an Egyptian boy who died at a young age. Unlike what most people would imagine, the portraits were incredibly detailed, with realistic eyes, facial features, and realistic jewelry. Collectively, these portraits are known as the Fayum portraits because of their plentiful numbers in the Fayum oasis. Most of the people who had the privilege of getting these portraits belonged to the elite of ancient Egypt. Not only was mummification considered a privilege at the time, but commissioning a detailed portrait was also reserved for the wealthy. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Thousands of Pits Near Stonehenge In Salisbury Plain, Wiltshire, England, are several monoliths arranged in an intriguing circle. This arrangement is known as Stonehenge, and it's recognized as the most famous prehistoric monument in the entire globe. Since its discovery, Stonehenge has been shrouded in mystery. It was built around 5,000 years ago during the late Neolithic age, but its construction didn't finish until around 1,500 BC during the early Bronze Age. For so long, people have questioned why Stonehenge was built in the first place and how people thousands of years ago managed to arrange massive monoliths in such an intricate arrangement. These questions baffled scientists and ordinary people for centuries. And although there are several theories that try to explain the mystery behind the prehistoric monuments, a lot of questions remain. Scientists have figured out a way for people to erect massive stones and stack them on top of each other without the help of aliens. Because extraterrestrial creatures are always the ones behind every astounding structure built during the prehistoric period. Experts also came up with theories as to why Stonehenge was built in the first place. It was either a burial site or a place for rituals and ceremonies. Just when we were starting to piece the puzzle together, another blank space revealed itself. In 2020, archaeologists announced that they discovered a series of deep pits around Stonehenge. Initially, researchers were clueless as to what the pits were, how they formed, and why they surrounded the site in the first place. It wasn't until a year later that scientists discovered what exactly the holes were. It turned out that the deep pits were man-made. The strange holes were perfectly aligned, forming a circle that's about 1.2 miles in diameter. So why exactly did people from thousands of years ago work so hard to dig these holes around Stonehenge? Scientists believe that the gaping pit served as a way for people to trap animals more than 4,000 years ago. Thousands of pits were discovered around the area in varying sizes. Some of them measured about 8 feet in diameter, while some were smaller. Initially, there were doubts about the purpose of the pits. But after one of the oldest pits was discovered littered with stone tools used for hunting, scientists became more confident that the pits were used for trapping game. Number 13. Roman Mosaic the Trojan War was the battle between Mycenaean Greeks and the city of Troy. It all began when Paris of Troy abducted Helen from her husband, the king of Sparta, Menelaus. This war is considered one of the most significant battles in all of Greek mythology. The Trojan War has been part of many important literary works, including the Iliad, written by the famed Greek poet Homer. And so it was a pleasant surprise when archaeologists discovered a massive, intricate mosaic beneath a sleepy Syrian town known as Rastin. Since around 2011, 
Raston was among the few places in the nation that were affected by the long civil war. It was a surprise that the mosaic wasn't destroyed during the chaotic confrontations that occurred in Syria over the years. The mosaic was an astounding artwork that was about 1,300 square feet. The entirety was made of colorful tesserae adorned with incredible details. The entire mosaic depicted scenes of the Trojan War and the image of the sea god Neptune, along with his many mistresses. And by many, I mean 40. But hey, I guess that's still a small number for a Roman god. Archaeologists are still unsure as to what structure the mosaic was part of initially. The mosaic could have easily been part of a public bathhouse or something else entirely. After all, the Romans were quite fond of decorating every establishment around their territory. In most cases, significant archaeological sites such as Rastin, which is a historical site, are protected. However, due to the conflicts during the Syrian Civil War, many of the important archaeological sites around the area were destroyed. But as the devastating battle comes to an end, there's hope for archaeologists to unearth more of the most significant discoveries left behind by the Roman Empire. Number 12. Forgotten Egyptian Queen Located around 20 miles south of Cairo, Egypt is the nation's most significant archaeological site, the land of Saqqara. It's home to the oldest surviving pyramid built by the ancient Egyptians, and it's also a site where a necropolis was established 3,000 years ago. Recently, archaeologists discovered another one of the most intriguing things in Saqqara, the tomb of a forgotten queen. Amongst 300 new coffins and over 100 mummies was the tomb of a previously unknown Egyptian queen. After examining the writing surrounding the tomb, archaeologists found out that it belonged to a queen known as Neith. What's strange is the fact that there are no traces of her in historical records about ancient Egypt. This discovery literally rewrote the history that we knew about the past civilization. It was possible that Queen Neith was the wife of Pharaoh Teddy. If this is the case, the Pharaoh would have had a relationship with three women, one of whom was his mother. It is possible that as more tombs get discovered in Egypt, the lineage of its royals will continue to get rewritten. Number 11. 168 New Geoglyphs in Nazca Any aircraft flying over the desert of southern Peru will get a glimpse of strange patterns etched on the ground. These patterns range from simple geometric designs like straight lines, triangles, and trapezoids to intricate depictions of animals and people. These are known as the Nazca Lines, and they're among the most enduring mysteries in the nation. For decades, these geoglyphs were the subject of intrigue by people from all around the globe. How were they made? Who made them? And why? Thousands of years ago, around AD 1 to 700, the Nazca people roamed the desert region of Peru. It wasn't really hard to leave patterns on the ground. To create the images, people simply dug about 12 to 15 inches deep to expose the lighter colored earth. However, what made archaeologists question the Nazca lines is the fact that they were incredibly detailed. What's more, it was almost impossible to perfect the patterns without the instruction of someone looking down at the site from a higher place. For this reason, rumors about aliens and other entities surrounded the Nazca lines. Patterns of hummingbirds and monkeys have been discovered around the site, but recently, archaeologists announced that they discovered 168 more. Among them were a cat, a killer whale, a snake, and even humans. Number 10. Altered Immune Systems in the mid-1300s, Europe and Asia were struck by an unprecedented calamity, the Black Death, which affected millions of people. It arrived on the European continent in October 1347. Several ships that came from the Black Sea arrived at the port of Messina, Italy. Unlike the many boats that regularly docked at the Sicilian port, locals immediately noticed that most of the ship's passengers had black boils. Many of them were lifeless, and those who could still move were gravely ill. Of course, authorities of the port city immediately ordered the vessels to leave at once. Little did they know that the moment the locals walked a few meters close to the vessel, the entire fate of Europe was sealed. For five long years, the continent was affected by the Black Death. Throughout its course, more than 20 million people were wiped out. After spreading throughout Italy, the plague quickly reached London by 1348. As the number of dead people rose, the current monarch, King Edward III, ordered a piece of land to be converted into a mass grave. There, more than 700 people were buried together. Recently, researchers began examining traces of the Black Plague and learned that centuries after it ended, it still had influence over modern humans. 
It turned out that it altered the evolution of the European genome. You see, just like other creatures on Earth, man has the capability of adapting. Our bodies at the cellular level are capable of change. Our bodies can alter themselves to fight a current disease. Unfortunately, this process happens gradually. Scientists believe that people in Europe, or those whose predecessors survived the Black Death, inherited mutations in their genes that help protect them from pathogens. However, this mutation came with a cost. It also increased their vulnerability to autoimmune diseases. Number 9. Largest Pink Diamond Discovered in Angola Mines This might look like an ordinary pink stone to you, but this is actually recognized as the fifth largest diamond ever found. Also known as the Lulo Rose, this 170-carat pink diamond is among the most precious stones ever extracted from the mines of Angola over the last 300 years. Since 2500 BC, humans have been collecting and selling these precious stones. As years passed by, these stones became increasingly precious. Pink diamonds in particular are rarely found, making them one of the most expensive stones on the entire globe. It's only formed by carbon in the kimberlite pipes of volcanoes. This process takes millions of years. In 1999, the largest pink diamond, the 132-carat pink star, was discovered by miners in South Africa. In 2013, it was sold for about $83 million, earning its title as the single most expensive stone ever sold. It's highly possible that by the time the Lulo Rose is cut, it will fetch the same or even higher price. Number 8. Roman Crucifixion Architects in Cambridgeshire, United Kingdom announced the discovery of a rare specimen, a skeleton with an iron nail embedded in it. This preserved skeleton is among the few pieces of physical evidence found showing the practice of crucifixion throughout Europe. In the Bible, crucifixion was used as a form of punishment during the Roman period. Throughout the years, archaeologists have tried finding the remains of victims that were crucified during the Roman era, but there were not a lot of them to be found. The skeleton had a two-inch nail driven through its heel. It's highly possible that before the time of his death, the person was crucified. Quite a painful way to die, isn't it? It's believed that the Romans used crucifixion to punish people at the time. Between 100,000 to 150,000 people died from asphyxiation because of this practice. It wasn't until AD 337 that crucifixion was outlawed by Emperor Constantine after the empire converted to Christianity. Number 7. Mythical Bronze Statue In 2022, Archaeologists at the Sangxingdui archaeological site in southwest China discovered a massive mythical creature cast in bronze. The bronze figure weighed a staggering 330 pounds and measured about 3 feet tall. In the past, several animal statues were discovered in the ruins of Sangxingdui. However, all of them were incredibly small and measured between 8 to 12 inches. And so, it was an incredible surprise to unearth such a massive figure. The figure was created in the likeness of an animal with a large mouth and four hooves. On its chest is a mark of a sacred tree, and on its head is a single horn. Another intriguing feature of the statue was a small man standing on top of it. Archaeologists believe that the bronze figure is a significant deity from ancient China. After all, the site is also the same place where 3,000-year-old sacrificial pits were discovered. What made the bronze statue more impressive, however, is the fact that bronze metallurgy was an advanced craft at the time. However, people who settled at the Sangxingdui site created thousands of gold, bronze, and jade artifacts. Number 6. Europe's Oldest Map You might think this is nothing but a large and weird slab of stone, but you're looking at the oldest map in Europe. It was originally discovered in 1900 in a prehistoric burial ground in Finisterre, Western Brittany but because of its strange and unassuming appearance, it was ignored. It's quite understandable, because who would think that this stone is a map? Recently, however, this stone is now recognized as the Saint Belic slab. It was made 4,000 years ago, and it survived being stored away in the basement of an old castle in Europe. Its origin is quite simple. Four millennia ago, the ruler of a kingdom during the Bronze Age commissioned a craftsman to create a map of the entire kingdom out of a stone slab that measured about 6.5 by 5 feet. It might look like a stone with random blobs and lines, but it's surprisingly accurate. Experts claim that the slab accurately depicts the locations of several landscapes near the kingdom. Number 5. Ancient Lovers In 2021, 
people in China were touched by a tomb discovered in a cemetery in Shanxi province in the northern region of the country. It wasn't rare to see couples buried in a single grave, but these two were locked in an eternal embrace. More than 1,500 years ago, the bodies of a man and a woman were carefully placed inside a large coffin. Their arms were wrapped around each other, with their bodies close to each other. Initially, archaeologists were bewildered by how the couple died at the same time. However, the story of the couple turned out to be quite romantic, or should I say tragic. I don't know what you think about dying for your loved one, but this woman had no problem sacrificing herself to be with her significant other until death. The man stood around 5 foot 4 inches tall when he was still alive. Upon examining his remains, experts found multiple injuries on his skeleton, including a broken arm. Several of his bones were also missing. The man died between the ages of 29 and 35, and he was most likely suffering from poor health shortly before his death. The woman, on the other hand, remained healthy until the day she died. She was older than the man by a few years, around the ages of 35 to 40. She stood at around 5 feet 2 inches and most likely didn't have any significant health problems, aside from cavities. It was clear that the woman chose to cut her life short just to join her husband in the eternal afterlife. So what do you think? Romantic or not really? Number 4. Among the oldest footsteps left behind by mankind. In 2002, fossilized imprints were discovered on the Greek island of Crete. It wasn't until recently that researchers finalized that the footprints were left behind by men who walked on Earth around 6 million years ago. Initial analysis revealed that the footprints were about 5.7 million years old, but recent studies pushed back its age by almost 300,000 years. It was believed that the footprints were left behind by hominins, one of the early bipedal ancestors of mankind. It's quite amazing how these footprints were preserved for several million years. Initially, it was believed that the discovery would discount the belief that Africa is the cradle of humankind. However, recent research claims that this isn't really the case. It's possible that the creatures who left the footprints originated in Europe before moving to Africa and vice versa. After all, it was highly possible that the dry conditions in Mesopotamia and the Sahara pushed creatures to migrate from Eurasia to Africa around 6.25 million years ago. Number 3. Sausage Dogs and Bears Surely you've seen sausage dogs before. They're small and cute, and they have really short legs. Aside from being adorable, they have no other capabilities. I mean, they're pretty good at keeping their humans happy, but that's about it. It's pretty hard to imagine it, but a recent discovery revealed something incredibly shocking about these dogs. In 2022, archaeologists working at the massive Colosseum in Rome discovered the remains of several dachshund dogs. Today, these dogs grow between 5 to 9 inches in height and weigh anywhere between 11 to 32 pounds. Their ancestors were slightly bigger than them, but only by a few inches. It was believed that a long time ago, these dogs performed acrobatic tricks in front of thousands of people in the Colosseum. Unfortunately, about 2,000 years ago, the Romans found entertainment in watching not only people fight, they also watched animals fighting each other. Archaeologists are not sure, but it's highly possible that people at the time pitted dachshunds against other animals, including bears. However, this is just a theory. The fact that the remains of such tiny dogs were discovered around the amphitheater is a pretty bizarre find. Hopefully, the poor animals weren't subjected to extreme harm. Number 2. Oldest Straw Discovered Before, plastic straws were used all around the globe. But now, due to the plastic waste accumulating in our oceans, alternative materials are being used as substitutes. There are now glass and metal straws. This drinking utensil isn't disposable, unlike those made of plastic. They can be washed and used countless times. Sure, it might be a hassle to bring them everywhere, but that's a small sacrifice to save marine creatures. With that being said, have you ever wondered what the oldest drinking straws look like? In 2022, researchers revealed that in the past, a group of people known as the ancient Mycop used gold and silver tubes to drink. Unlike the drinking straws we use today, the drinking utensils were incredibly long. A single straw measured around three feet long, and instead of glass, it was crafted out of gold and silver. Before, people of the Mycop liked to share drinks. Instead of having a glass of their own, they used these long straws to sip from a single pot at the same time. 
Sounds like a nightmare for germaphobes, but I don't think people during the Bronze Age cared about sharing their saliva that much. And now, it's time for today's topic. Scientists are finding artifacts around the world that should never have been found. They say curiosity killed the cat, and there's a good reason why this statement is everywhere. The Curse of the Mummy is a century-old folklore that still lingers to this day. In 1922, King Tutankhamun's tomb was discovered in the Valley of Kings near Luxor, Egypt. It was then that the curse of Tutankhamun spread throughout the globe. Claims that a deadly curse would be inflicted on those who dared disturb the eternal resting place of the young pharaoh became the highlight of the discovery. Recently, rumors about another mysterious tomb discovered in America circulated around the internet. Several people claimed that just like the tomb of Tutankhamun, a deadly curse would be inflicted on those who dared venture into the tomb. Could it be that the curse of the dead is true? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. Medieval Ring Not all of the most significant archaeological discoveries are found by professionals. Sometimes, ordinary people and hobbyists stumble upon the greatest finds. In 2022, 69-year-old David Ford was going about his day. Around noon, he decided to visit a field in Dorset in southwestern England. Along with his trusty metal detector, David set out and tried his luck. After years of being a metal detector hobbyist, it was normal for him to discover nothing but several pieces of trash. There were the occasional small items that people lost, but that was about it. Little did he know that he would discover something incredibly significant that day. About five inches underground, he unearthed a gold band. He thought it was an ordinary accessory, but when he got home and washed it properly, he realized that he stumbled upon a gold and diamond ring in near-perfect condition. He brought the ring to the British Museum, where it was dated and authenticated by experts who verified the ring's age. It turned out that the amazing ring's origin can be traced back to medieval times in the 1300s. Unlike the wedding rings today, rings back then were handcrafted one by one. They weren't mass-produced, and only the wealthy and elite could have them made. The ring had an intricate design, and at its center was a small diamond. It turned out that the ring was given to Lady Joan Brooke by her husband Sir Thomas Brooke, who was a wealthy man. The two were wed in 1388, and the gold band sealed their promise. Inside the band is a French inscription that roughly translates to, I hold your faith, hold mine. Now I don't know about you, but that's insanely romantic. Which of these discoveries intrigued you the most? Let me know about it in the comments down below. If you know other epic discoveries that we've missed, feel free to share them as well. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.